We're very sorry about the breaking transmission. And it's our own fault. We are very sorry about that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. With our own fault, we did not do what we were supposed to do. And the system went off. Very sorry about that, everyone. And the Father, Lord, have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Amen. And we we'll continue our Bible reading. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Then, uh, you know, uh, um, Brother Ling ran to call them, and then they came uh, to the tomb. And after that, they did not see Jesus. They walked around, they, they went back home. They married Brother Ling. That was saying in verse 11, how they brought him. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, and she stood to look, stood to look into the tomb. And uh, she saw two angels. The same tomb that people have come and gone. See, love, love, love God, love the Lord with your heart. Loving with your mind, with your soul. Love the Lord with your strength, your energy. And I can see all that in full, in full, in full, in full, in, full, in fullness. That Mary Madeline displayed here. You can see the result that he got, she got. Hallelujah. You love the Lord with her strength, to her money, with her everything, her life. God help us in Jesus' name. You know, when our love for God, you know, has gone to the level of we sacrificing our own life. God always come up to us in a way that you can never imagine. Abraham sacrificed his own life, sacrificing his son. It's the same thing like him sacrificing his own life. See, today, all the nations on the earth are linked to what? Abraham. The three evil men sacrificed their own life. You all know how it came out. Hallelujah. No wonder David said, I will not give to God what does not cost me nothing. Even when Abraham wanted to you know, bury Sarah, they gave him and wanted to force him to give him a free land to bury. But he paid for it. That is a massive example for every of our of Christians out there. That always want everything cheap, everything free, 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 free. When you are getting things free, everything free, you are opening the door to the enemy. Pay for it. If you cannot afford it, don't go for it. Hallelujah. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They saw, they said to her, Woman, why were why are you weeping? And she said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I did not know where they have laid him. And then having, <laughs> then having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus. She turned around and saw Jesus. May God help us in Jesus' name. You see, her sacrifice, her true love, her genuine love paid off. 
She's the only one who saw Jesus before Jesus Christ went to God to present himself to, to the Father. And I'm the only one who saw truly the, the angels in the tomb. That is added glory or added virtue. That 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 that, that you know that uh, that activities alone it has something a counter that no man the whole planet Earth has, which was, which was, which was, which was derived by what? Love. Love, love, love. That means if you want to go extra mind as you're going to the new year, we need to, you know, go deeper in love. Love your brothers and sisters more than ever. Love God more than ever. I know the true the true sign that you truly love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength shows how you treat your fellow human being. Shows how you sacrifice because there's no way you can love God without you know loving your fellow human being. That is why the Lord has given us idea of how to do how to go about this. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. If you truly love God. And I pray in the name of you, the Lord help us in the name of you. Now we're going to go straight now to the repentance side of the, our, our message this morning. Hallelujah. Psalm 51. It's the 50. Psalm 50 and the Psalm 101. Hallelujah. We're going to go now straight now to the men. We're going to play, play it. Because uh, time has already, you know, intend to be here till now, hallelujah. Psalm 50 from us one to end. Psalm 50, a psalm of Asaph. The mighty one, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes, he does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire, mm -hmm. around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Mm. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, but cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and its fullness are mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High mm. and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked God says, What right have you to recite my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline and you cast my words behind you. If you see a thief, you are pleased with him, and you keep company with adulterers. You give your mouth free reign for evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one like yourself, but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. Mark this, then, you who forget God, lest I tear you apart, and there be none to deliver. The one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. And the Lord wants us to repent from all these sins that are mentioned here. Hallelujah. He wants you and I to repent. He wants us to repent. He wants us to repent. Say, if you see a thief, you are pleased with him because of what you're going to get from him. 
There are a lot of thieves, a lot of thieves in the body of Christ. There are a lot of thieves in our, in our religious settings. Because of what you're getting from them, we are indirectly supporting them. God help us. Then I call out the testimony somebody gave in one church. And I just say, is this actually a real? Now that church, they have ladies who are harlots. And they, they place they are, they pay them very well. And these ladies will come and give testimony in the church that oh they have business today. Because they pay them serious money. And the pastor will pray for them and anoint them to go and do mm. that business and come. <laughs> he pray for them and they will go. You know that God hates that is wickedness. I know people are so wicked today that they can, they can even encourage their daughter to go to do, do the same thing. That is wickedness. See how love of money have taken us. And I pray in the name of the Lord, deliver us in Jesus' name. You don't want us to repent in such kind of love of money. If you see things, we are pleased with them. And we keep company with them, even with their daughters. Lord wants us to repent. And I pray this morning will repent from such kind of issues in our life. You're not going into the new year with it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I profit you to gain the whole world. And lose your soul. And these people know that this, this set of uh, ladies, they can never have a child anymore. They have already condemned the most important part of their life. And they continue to deceive them because of their own selfish interests. That's the reason why God is so, God does not like falsehood God does not like it at all false teachers, false preachers for in any kind of false you know, Lord hate with passion because we are indirectly destroying the work of God and destroying a flow of flow human beings in the book of Jeremiah where, where the prophet, prophet Jeremiah prophesied then the prophet, one of the prophet nine came and being to Prophesy what the Lord have not sent him. That led to the destruction of the children of Israel, including them going for Esai. Was prophesying what God God was telling them to come out from your wicked ways. This is what I'm going to do. They want to come and say, "Oh, you guys, peace everywhere." That all this in Jeremiah prophesied their lies. They continue to kill. They continue to steal. They continue to do all of abominable things. Even the king, the Lord, tries so much to, to deliver. Because of false teacher, false prophet. The king was killed. His eyes was, was got out from his... His children were destroyed in his own face. That the effect of false teaching, false preachers. May God help us in Jesus' name. No one wants us to repent from such kind of things. Please, my brothers and sisters, let's repent in the name of Jesus. There's a place for you. There's a place for you as you repent. Amen. Now we'll move on now to the book of um, and still Psalm 101. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, Psalm 101, a psalm of David. I will sing of steadfast love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will make music. I will ponder the way that is blameless. O oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall mm. be far from me. Amen. I will know nothing of evil. Mm. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. 
I will look with favor on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. Mm. No one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Morning by morning I will destroy all the wicked in the land, cutting off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. May God have mercy on them. God wants us to repent from deception, lies, lies, lies. Those lies, these days people, you know, we don't take life to be anything anymore. It's like, oh, God understand, God understand. We need to be smart. May God help us. I pray that every spirit of deception, every spirit of lies, we are delivered in the name of Lord. Lord, want us to be faithful. Lord, will say, gradually we destroy and uproot the upright. As we go into this new year, in the name of Jehovah, we move in with the heart of repentance in the name of Jesus. And that any time we see ourselves falling away, we repent. We repent. Just like you know, the Lord's prayer, you know, has has the has all those uh, ingredients already. He said, Lord, forgive me. We pray it daily from the end of our hearts. Bro, the sin that we know and the one we don't know, we ask the Lord to forgive us. Always, and whilst you're praying it, you pray it as if that is your the last time you have. To pray that prayer because when we pray those prayers from genuineness of our heart, Lord knows that when we just honor him out, he knows also how there is always good we humble ourselves. Remember, the Lord will always lift up those who are humble. David humbled himself, and Lord lifted him up, he forgave him. The people of Nive, they humbled themselves, the Lord forgave them and lifted them up. I pray in the name of Jesus that we walk in this humanity. In the name of Jesus. And we see no will come how they're up for us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because without humility, without spirit of repentance, unfortunately we keep on going, diving deeper and deeper into evil. Getting ourselves more distance to God. Making it more, more difficult for us to, you know, to, to be saved. And in the process we become an instrument in the hand of the enemy. Start destroying the work of God. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. You always have that repentant heart as you go into the new year. Because it's very, very vital. You can see that first scripture we read. You know, how Mary Madeline was, 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 was able to see even Jesus Christ before he went to heaven. He was the only one to see the love, the love, the love that she displayed. Wake up very in the morning and went to call the, the disciples that have taken the Lord away. He doesn't know. Even when the disciples came, all of them they went back. She was the only one who stood back. Was there weeping? Where are the rest? Where are the rest? Where are the rest? Where are the rest? Those who are supposed to be more loving after all that Christ has sacrificed for them. All of them they went back. Even when Jesus Christ had gone to heaven and came back, he met Paul, he met Peter fishing. He went back to his trade. Oh God, how many things. The true love put us ahead. Now like see the David, the prophecies and his the Holy Spirit was you can see the Holy Spirit of manifestation of the Holy Spirit upon him because of what love. Just like you know, see this woman, her eyes being open, she began to enjoy the things the spirit, the spirit of God have not you know when the spirit of God when the Lord now went to heaven, then I released the Holy Spirit of God to be here on, on, on us with, here on earth. Then that's when the disciples now they now caught the fire. But the true love of God puts you ahead. When you love God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, with all our spirit, it puts you ahead. It puts us ahead. It puts us ahead. You go and help us in Jesus' name. Because you see, the secret things of God belong to those who love him. 
because of the true love, the secret is which is one of the basis, which is the Holy Spirit, was released to these guys. See the way Mary was, was, was swimming in the things of God. You understand better because of what the love she had. And it's not about going to church. It's not about sitting down with Jesus Christ day from morning to night. Do you truly love him? The one that crucified Jesus was with him. It was his best man. The, the, the one he handed over the money to. And the love was far. Do we examine ourselves in the name of Jesus? Do we truly love this Jesus? Oh, it does the the thing you just want to belong to that crowd. Oh, he's a Christian. He's going to he put on your 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 your, your Put on your Christmas clothes, or your, your church clothes, and with good shoe, with tie, and all the stuff. And because of the position that you are being given, you know, to minister in the church, that is, that just that you know you see that and prepare your message very well. When I explain and break the word of God to them today, they will know that is taking you to nowhere. Do you truly love Him? With your heart, with your mind, with your soul, with your strength. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The true love you always put us ahead among among our equals, among other ministers, among other among other Christians. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we examine ourselves in the name of Jesus and begin to grow. More and more, because this love of a thing, loving God, is like a, it's a living thing. It grows, it grows, it grows. You can never love Him enough. It grows, it grows. The more you are, the more you are loving Him. The more you are knowing more. The more He's revealing. The more your spiritual eyes and understanding is being open. And the, the more, the more you know, you are indirectly strengthening. Strengthening your shield. Strengthening your cover. Hallelujah. Then you'll be in that level before the enemy finish what you are speaking. The Lord has already revealed to you. Only one word you say will solve the whole situation. Because you are speaking from the mind of God. May God help us in the name of Jesus. We really need to come closer in the name of Jesus. And that closeness to the Lord, I mean, we coming very closer to God, the time is what? Humility, 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 humility is the key. And I pray in the name of Jesus, we humble ourselves and continue to repent from any kind of things. We keep you know, searching ourselves to see whether we are actually standing in the process, the Lord begin to take us deeper and deeper in the name of you. And this hour, I want us to ask the Lord, please, Lord Jesus, help me in the name of Jesus. As I go into the new year, please, oh Lord, I need your strength. I need your power in the name of Jesus. Every powers and every forces of darkness fighting against my spiritual eyes, my spiritual understanding, my spiritual ear in the name of Jesus. Try to make me dull. Try to make me to be more comfortable in the insane and in flesh. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marco Pore, the Rebels, the Rebels, the We begin to love the Lord from with everything else. There's a lot of things we do. There's a lot of things we do. A lot of way we dress. A lot of makeups and all those kind of things we do. That you don't, you don't have interest again. Because your priority is definitely going to change. I remember in those days when we just gave our life to Jesus Christ. When you wear rubbish, you want to go out. The Holy Spirit of the Lord will flog you. Go back and change. It cannot even argue. If you go back and change. But these days, some of us who say, oh, we can never wear this thing. We can never, oh, that, how, how, how far? How, how is it possible? We are the one that are teaching people, encouraging people to do those things. Because of what? Our, our spiritual, we, we are dull. Our hearts towards God is dull. Our spiritual eyes is, is getting blind. 
our spiritual ears, we are getting blocked. We are now getting being more comfortable with thieves, with adulterers, with adulterers. We are getting more comfortable with the sinners. You just start putting them in a in a very wonderful position mm. to occupy, to be part of the ministers of, of the gospel. Whereas we know. God help us in the name of Jesus. Until we get to that extent that we are not afraid anymore. When we know that God can use you and you alone. God help us in Jesus' name. God can use you without any other person. You as Lord to, uh, um, so uh, what is his name? Uh, 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 Moses, go and do this work for me. He said, I must go with this person. In the process, he, he end up dragging him. It's only when God has told you or when God has, you know, see yourself that you are the only one. You know, because when we see ourselves that we are the only one that God has called, so that in the ministry, then you can be able to stand against any kind of uh, you know, injustice or any kind of iniquity that is going on. You stand, you say no to this, no to that. Then the prophet God will begin to use it to cut down the Jezebel spirits and the manipulation and deception. They want to, all want to make it give free hand to everybody. Because want everybody to grow in the things of, and the prophet begin to pollute the church. You need to pollute the, the house of God. And that's the reason why today we have, you know, a lot of genuine ministers who are standing that there are those who are around them. They are just, they are just. God have mercy. May God help us in the name of this morning. I want us to begin to pray. God, please help me, O Lord Jesus. The love of Christ make one of the son of Aaron to go to that, is it a, a, a hicken, and chop off his head. How dare you? Do this thing against God. They love, they love, they love. When our love start growing more and more, then we, we have that that bone to challenge sin. We have that bone to challenge whatever it might be that is, you know, that, that the enemy wants to. We have that bone. And then when we start this, when we start displaying that kind of boldness, they're going to see. Our spiritual eyes and understanding begin to open. The God begin to show us some secret things, begin to reveal things, begin to you know guide or teach us the way to handle some critical issues, because our heart is totally lost for Him. Otherwise, we need to play the game with them. In the process, we need to join the falsehood, the false teachers, and continue to destroy the soul the Lord has given to us to in order to save. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. As we go into the new year, may I help, help me, Lord Jesus, in the name of the heart of repentance, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to love you more, in the name of the Father, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord, in the name of this morning, we repent from our sins, O Lord. You say, Lord, you have mercy, Lord. Come into our life and be the Lord of our life, in the name of Jesus. We confess you once again this morning as our personal Lord and Savior. Father, Lord, take charge of everything that concerns us. You need God, O Lord. As we go into the new year, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done this morning in our lives, O Lord. Say glory, honor, majesty, wisdom, power be unto you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And uh, for those who can please share our messages and uh, and uh, hallelujah. And I will put and the, uh, the 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 address on the system for those you now within our area, or you check the address and it's okay. The address will be put on the screen. Hallelujah! We will put on the system. We say put on my page for those who want to come for and the crossover night in the name of Jesus. And then you can meet us where we are gathering for the crossover night in the name of Jesus today. In the name of Job. I guess what may start around 10 o'clock for those who can please recall and join us and God will bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 
and Sam, uh, Pastor Samuel Eto. God bless you, sir, for joining us once again. We are really humbled to have you uh, with all this money. May God bless you and prosper you as you're going to the new year. We pray for your God, mercy, God's favor, and uh, open doors in the name of Jesus will be yours and yours forever in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done, O Lord. I will say, may the Lord bless you all and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord come here, show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Love you all and have a very wonderful day. Amen and amen. Shalom to you all.